All right, guys, it's here. I'm so excited. I have not pulled it out, but I didn't want to share my address, so I just showed the inside of the box. Get that out of the way. Get this little bubble wrap off. So this is the brand new, never seen before, Sterling Ink Pocket Planner in the horizontal full year. That's what it's supposed to be. Black onyx, I think is the color with the white edges. I did not do the gilded edges. And then I kind of thought I wish I had because it just looks a little fancy, but I don't know. The one, the one that they did last year was, there were, I think there were some issues with a few of them. So glad I didn't, but I kind of wanted it this year. So anyway, you get your two little freebies. Sterling Ink always shares a couple little freebies. Her stickers are amazing if you've never used them before. I am very excited to get into this. So I will do a full little flip here. And oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, how cool. It's a little date card. Okay, so I love that. And that might just have to go in a plastic cover to be the cover. How cute would that be? Mm-hmm. I might have to do that. I may even just like tape it, double-sided tape it. It's like the exact size. It's perfect. So yeah, when she releases the clear covers, I'm going to pick one up. I love that. That is beautiful. So fall and fun. Yes. Okay. Let's get in. Pocket. Horizontal full year white edges onyx cover okay the moment of truth all right so i don't like this cover as much as i like the one on my notebook this is more the pu leather the flexible not card stocky but it has a nice texture it feels like very soft leather. I guess I'll hang on to this because I guess it might be being given away. It just depends on what I think about it. I don't know. I keep going back and forth. So, so we have, this is a pocket size, traditional pocket size. It has the black onyx cover with the, yeah, it's gold. 2025 it says that it's the pocket size full year horizontal it says pk slash h for horizontal would say v for vertical but i don't think they even did this in a vertical uh full year common planner and then on the back it has sterling ink common planner okay let's see what it looks like on the inside <laughs> so we have our plain little page this one's the thicker and then we have the annoying one that always attaches and then we get right into it so we have our year to glance and then we have a blank spread and then we have some goals someday one year half year quarter monthly weekly daily okay and then yeah, this is what I was worried about with the tracker. Oh, man, I was so hopeful for that. I mean, I guess if you just did colors or uh, you could do like a key up here and do like, you know, the first row would be reading all year. The second row would be like whatever. Uh, whatever you track. Um but that, I do like that it's on just the two pages, but I kind of liked how it was in the N2. It's separated by quarter. So, I don't know. We'll see. Oh! Oh, so we have more. Hmm. Okay. That might be able to be worked with. 
So you could do this for like PTO or just kind of whatever. Holidays and and then you could do trackers here because you have more rows. You'd still have to do a key or you could do your key like over here. Hmm. Okay. I don't have the room for my birthdays, but I could put them here. I see possibilities. So then we have our quarter three. Wait, I think I skipped quarter two. Quarter one. Two. Three. And four. Okay. I'm not disappointed in that, which is good. I, I could work with that. All right. So we have our calendars. So we hit start with December and it goes through, does it go through January of 26 or just December? Nope. It does go through January 26. I like that. So you have a little bit of back planning, a little bit of pre-planning for the months. I do like that. They're not too, too small. I mean, you get a full, a full month on two pages. It does have your weeks over here and they're kind of more smushed up. So, so you could still decorate out here if you wanted to without covering that up. That's okay. I like that. Okay, so we go through January of 26. And then right in... Oh, I do love this horizontal layout. I do love this. Alright, so... All of our weeks. So it starts with the 30, 30th of December. Is that the first week? Yep. And there's no like separators for you to do anything in between. I'm okay with that. I do like having the extra space, but it's not like a make or break for me. The extra space just to kind of decorate it and have a little bit of fun. But I love this horizontal layout. I just don't need a whole lot of space, so I like the overview. So then... We get through all of our weeklies. And they go through the last week of December into the first week of January. And then right into your grid pages. Oh my god, I love the grid pages. Didn't look. Yep, there's grids. I love that. I love that so much. Just makes me. I feel like it's a little darker though. Like I can see the pages behind it. Like let's look at let's pull out the end too, and just see if it's you know the same. Yeah, I guess it is. Cause you can definitely see. I miss this planner. This has so much space. So nice. So did she do the... Yeah, she did the... So... Yeah, you can see. But it looks... Everything just looks so nice in here. I don't know why. I mean, because it's a good planner. Okay, so let's pull out the paper test. I'm not going to do like a comparison or anything. You can look at my unboxing of the paper test if you want to see kind of a full flip of it. But I just wanted to kind of see. We'll do a little bit of a comparison. So the paper is pretty much the same color. It looks pretty much the same. Man, that grid just makes me so happy. But I do like the timed, but I don't use it a whole lot now that I've been using it. I mean, I do. I put stuff there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's what time of day it's happening. It's just kind of, I just stick stuff in where I have room so I can, but I try to, you know. I like that it has structure. I guess is what I'm saying. And I like that it's dated. This is not dated, which 
isn't the end of the world. I've been kind of brainstorming because I don't want to sticker it up with, I mean, like, dailies every day will make this thing so big and, and bumpy. So I don't want to do that. Like I'll stick them in like I do these occasionally, but I'm not, I don't want to do that every week and every day for my dailies. So I don't know, but I thought, so you have 367 and they're dated, which is nice. But I thought that I could predate the whole thing. And then I would be more prepared to use it instead of doing... But I was going to get like a stamp for the date. I mean, I have tons of stamps. But I was just going to get like a... I found a really cute brass one that is super cute. And I thought it would be fun to mess around with. But I don't know. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do. But... Oh, man, I love the grid so much. It's just, I don't know. I think it's because I've used the weeks for so long. Because what, how many years? One, two, three, five years, six years I used the weeks. And... I think it's just that. I mean, I think it's comfort because I've used it for so long. So I think that's a lot of what the grid offers for me is just that comfort. But I really do like this planner. I like them both. It's hard. So I mean, yeah, you, uh, you can kind of see the differences. The paper is the same color. Even the lines look very similar in shade. This is a dotted, if you've not ever seen. I don't know how well this will pick up on my camera, but that is a dotted. It's very finely, like, pixel dotted grid. And so it's really faint when you hold the page up and it's not like laying on the pages behind it so you can see the grids coming through but and I love that she marks like your halfway point it's nice to be able to separate did she do that on the weeks yep so that it's marked at the halfway point on the top and bottom. So you can draw you a line and do weather on the other side. And then I could have my reflection. Hmm. Man, it's so tempting. Because I definitely could work with what this has. And I think that this planner, the... Paper test has a lot of extras that I don't necessarily use. So, not that that's a bad thing. I do really like the trackers in here. I do really like those. They give you enough space to do several instead of just like three, four. I think you can do five on that one on the goals. Was it up here in the front? Yeah, I think you could do. Yeah, you could do five on here. And then on the yearly, there's room for three more. So, I mean, you could just make this like your reading tracker. But then you're wasting the whole space. So, I don't know what I would use this for. Other than an actual tracker. And just put like three items do like, I mean, I guess this could be like my social media tracker and I could do YouTube, um, Instagram and then PR, I guess. And then have this more my tracking tracking and do reading and whatever else. I don't even know what else I track on there. So it's a thought. I do love this. I love this planner. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely adore this planner. I think Catherine did an amazing job when she came out with 
the common planner period i mean all the sizes and all the different things all right let's see if it fits because this is like the true test because this cover is like i love it so it fits perfectly like a glove absolutely perfect it was meant for it <laughs> size thickness and everything it's perfect oh okay i'm gonna put it back in the plastic bag just so i'm not tempted to write in it in case i don't use it but it is a gorgeous planner i'm just all over the place man okay so you have your you know your gold plate gold pages your monthlies your weeklies and then you have what did i say 367 blank pages so enough for yep 367 blank pages for your dailies so this is like the perfect daily weekly monthly planner if that's what you're looking for they are really well made um i love their notebooks and i've had several notebooks that I've used that I'm not really easy on them and they've held up really well. Um, but I can say that as much as I've put this little paper test through, it's held up really well considering I pulled the back pocket off. I've bent it and shoved it into all different kinds of planners. And you can see it's, but it, it hasn't like the spine is still intact perfectly. So, okay, I'm going to put it up now, but this is your first look at the pocket size full year common planner from sterling inc 2025 oh yeah the spine i always forget so it has the pk slash h or dash h for horizontal i do love the horizontal i'm so glad that somebody did this because if it was the passport size that they had done horizontal, I wouldn't use it because I don't, the hor the passport size is just a little too small. It's fine width wise, but it's shorter and I just don't feel like you get enough on a page. I could use it for a daily, but I don't think I could use it for a weekly. So I'm really glad that she did the horizontal in the pocket, of course, because that's my, my love for planner. Alright, safe and sound. Back in the plastic for now. <laughs> I am horrible at these kinds of things, especially when I get it so early in the year. But, I mean, it just gives you more time to decorate the covers and all the things. I definitely would love to use this. I mean, even if I could just use it on that one too, so definitely going to pick up a clear jelly cover for these so I can put this in it because that is beautiful and it would make a fun fall. I mean, I guess, well, no, it does have leaves, so I wouldn't even be able to use it in January. It'd be more for next fall, but so that's it. You guys will have to tell me, are you getting the pocket size, the new Sterling Ink? planners this year or are you going to go back to your tried and true uh other company planner or other common common planner i'm very curious to know what you guys are thinking i am i've got some decisions to make because i really do like this planner and i can definitely see myself being able to use it which was the whole point of this. I wanted to know if I would be able to use this planner. If I didn't think it was going to be functional for me, then I would have just went ahead and given it away, like, immediately. But it is very functional, and it is something I could definitely see myself using. So, I'm just going to have to kind of see what 
probably ultimately I'd say the price may be what kind of makes my decision on the paper tests. I want to see what the cost of both books is going to be. I, I don't know. I mean, I hate to not buy it. Um, because I want to buy it, but I don't want to spend, I mean, like double what I spent for just the one book. So ultimately I'm going to have to see what that thing is going to cost me. So, but until then, these are available right now. So you might want to pick one up before they go. I paid $38. Shipping was free. Uh, anything over 35 on U.S. side for Sterling Inc. is uh, free shipping. And I think it's 6 or $8 for international flat rate shipping for anything over $35. I believe that's what her uh, shipping charges are. But yeah, anything over $35 is free shipping in the U.S. So you should definitely check these planners out. I absolutely love them. They are very well made. Nice planners. And she has a ton of sizes. Just, I don't even know. There are, she has pretty much everything. Passport, pocket, A6, B6. I think she launched B6 Slim. And then she has... The N2, the N1, which is standard size, and the N2, which is weak size, and then A5 and B5, I believe, is the new one that she launched this year. But you can check them out over on Sterling Inc. I will have them linked in the description box below. I get nothing for that. They are just a lovely shop. Catherine is wonderful. I've bought her stickers pretty much all year. I have been buying her sticker kit on sub. It's a great deal. And then I've had her planners for two years. And notebooks for three or two and a half whenever she came out with the notebooks maybe three so I can't remember but um yeah check them out all right I think that's going to be it for this one if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and it would mean the absolute world to me if you consider subscribing I'll see you guys in the next one bye